Moikka kaikille! Meillä on nyt tän Justinin kanssa tässä tulossa live. Ja tää live pidetään englanniksi. Tervetuloa mukaan! Uh, welcome Justin Söderberg from Prasad. Uh, nice to have you here again. <laughs> And happy Valentine's Day! Yeah, same to you. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> so we have a little bit of toast here in the first, uh, because this um, live is about Love Elixir, which is Justin's wonderful product. And we are going to talk about this product today. So let's start having this uh, Valentine's Day toast yeah. with this product. So you let her hear what is this product, like what its effects are. Yeah, I think it's good to start just by drinking it and then as we sip it, I will explain what it is and how it works. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so let's do this. <laughs> yeah, so I'll just open it. The bottle's a little stuck, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the tester bottle, so I think it's been used quite much here. Yeah in the yoga room. Okay. Is it? <laughs> no, okay. Do you want to try? I don't yeah, know I'm not strong good. hands. I'm not okay. really good at this, so... <laughs> I'll go get this one other bottle, I'll go get it. Yeah. Yes. So, in life we can have like happening fun <laughs> things, but this doesn't open. Just a moment. Here we go, this one opens. Yeah, good. <laughs> So, yeah, clearly the first tester bottle was very popular and was a little overused. Yeah. So, yeah, we're just going to squeeze it. It's a nice red tincture that we're going to put into the drinks. Yeah. Maybe it doesn't show in there, but... Yeah, because we have a pink color. But if you use a clear drink, like a champagne or a sparkling wine, then you can see the red drops going into the drink. Yeah. Today we have this lovely pink uh, drink. Here? Yeah, it was it a pink lemonade, like a rosé lemonade. Yes, yes. Yeah. So anything with roses is going to taste good with this product. Yeah. Yeah, happy Valentine's happy Day. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> mm, yeah, you can really taste the roses mm. of the drink, because the drink is already rose. But one of the main ingredients in my Love Elixir is the Finnish wild roses. So that's why it's, we have like double rose here. It's mm. very rosy. So hopefully you like the taste of rose. Um, here in Finland, we have very medicinal roses and they're growing everywhere. In fact, actually, many of the city councils are asking that we remove these roses from the root. So there's no risk of over harvesting as there's considered too much of it in Finland. So in my opinion, instead of digging it all out, we should just be making medicine with it. Yeah, there's lots of things we can do with roses, but one of my favorites is to make the love elixir because roses work on the heart. They open up the heart chakra. Mm. So it was one of the first products I made when I moved here because I did move here in a winter time and it was really dark and really cold and I thought, Maria, how am I going to survive here? <laughs> <laughs> like, how am I going to survive? So it was 10 years ago. It was around 10 years ago. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I thought I better I better make this an official product here in Finland for, for Finnish people because I think we really need it. <laughs> yeah, I have been using this now um, like a couple of weeks and months and I've noticed like in this winter time uh, this can feel so long. <laughs> so uh, I noticed like this immediate boost for my like mind mm -hmm. and my spirit. Yes, the mind and the spirit. So, yeah. you know, we, we don't separate those. They're connected, the mind and the spirit. Mm. And, you know, if we're enduring very long darkness and very long cold, we do need opposites, you know. like So I work with Ayurveda, and that's the traditional medicine of India, and we use that to, to look at opposites. So if mm. it's cold and if it's dark, you want opposite. You want to bring warm and light, right? So... It is a warming drink. The drops are technically warming to the body when we look at them through the different elements. And there's a lightness there because we're working with herbs that are all bringing light qualities to the body. So there's nothing heavy in there. The 
um, wild roses or, you know, the rose petals are very feminine. They're mm. very soft, right? That's a very light plant. That's not going to be a heavy plant, right? Yeah. And I also use a uh, citrona melissa or lemon balm from my garden. Mm -hmm. And when you combine those two together, they work really well on the heart. So a special heart affinity there. So I feel it immediately because it is a tincture. It does go immediately to the bloodstream. So especially if you take the drops directly on the tongue. So today we've made a fun drink, but you can also just take it directly like that. You mm -hmm. want to taste something like that? No. I had already in the morning. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But of course you can see when you take it directly, it is more potent. It is very strong. Mm. And that's where you're going to definitely get that warming effect. So if you're feeling cold inside and closed off, it's going to help lift and warm and, and open you up. Yeah. yeah. Um, and you can like have this with your friends, like um, also, uh, with those drinks and maybe if you are going to have a date or something before the date or uh, during the date with your partner this is really good also yes exactly so you can take it for personal use like you're just feeling low and sad some melancholy and it will really help to lift you up um, but you can also take it in a fun way with your partner or friends as well so for example, when I, if I have friends come over, I put it in everybody's drink, so we're all in the same level, like yeah. in a good mood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, I really like to give it as a wedding gift. I'll tie it to a bottle of sparkling and, and give that as a wedding gift. And people really appreciate that, you know, because it's not the typical wedding gift. People yeah. kind of get sort of the same thing. So it's something local and handmade and that has a purpose mm -hmm. to it for the couple to connect together Yes. Yeah. And, and there is that connection there with it. Mm -hmm. So I notice that um, when couples take it together, it's not even always just like a physical um, connection, but it can even be more like this more interested in what the other person has to say. Mm. So you're like, tell me more. Yes. Even if you've heard from the same person, the same things, you know, maybe you've been in your relationship for a long time. Yeah. And you want to add in like something new and feel a little more interest in each other. I think this is a really good way as well. Uh, does it make like you more aware maybe like in the present moment or something? Yeah, I think it does with the because when the heart is closed It's hard to be in the present moment mm. when the heart is hardened, you know, yeah softer heart is easier to be in the present moment and Like I said, um, you know when you're taking it together with the couple there is a flower called Damiana and mm. that I get organic from Mexico I would like to uh, grow it here in Finland as well. We'll see if I can. <laughs> I've attempted a few times. It hasn't worked. It's, it likes its homeland. So yeah. that Damiana flower is what brings the more uh, sensual connection. So the lemon balm and the roses are very good for the heart, which there is a sensuality there. But mm -hmm. the Damiana is more for the pelvic region sensuality. Mm -hmm. So it actually stimulates the pelvic area and increases blood flow to that area. Mm. So movement, when I'm not, I'm not talking about bleeding, but like movement of the blood in that area. Mm. So it can help couples who are physically having a hard time, mm. you know, getting it on and getting together. Mm. So, and you can decide how you want to take it. I would suggest the dose on the bottle, which is about 30 drops, would be good for your own personal mood and if you want to spend time with your friends but if you do really want to feel that uh, sensual energy with a partner I would take double the amount so you can really feel the Damiana flower in there yeah mm. is there like is there some other in ingredients also uh, uh, there is um, yeah yeah there's uh, raspberries from my garden yeah Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. So you can kind of taste that raspberry in there with the rose. I would say raspberry rose is the dominant flavor. Yeah. And then I'm using uh, local produced honey. We are here in Borbo, so we have good honey producers here. Mm. So it has a sweetness to it. You know, if you make a love potion, it should taste good. <laughs> of course. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. I do make all kinds of formulas and medicines that are very bitter and strong, but this is really nice sweet flavor. Um, of course, it does have alcohol in it because it is a tincture in Finnish, which is tinctura. So that means I'm dripping alcohol through the plant material and then the medicine is coming out of the plant. 
Okay. So it's um, also a delivery vehicle. Alcohol delivers the herbs to the body. Mm. Like I said, it goes directly to the bloodstream. It doesn't have to go through the digestion yeah. because it's a tincture. When we take pills and powders, they have to digest here first, Yeah. where this is, doesn't require any digestion. Yeah. So that's why I love tinctures because they're very effective. I like things that work and work quickly. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'm a little impatient of a person. I like to see results. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, you can see like uh, if you want to test it and try it so you can like for the, for the first day maybe you can uh, notice the effects like yeah. exactly yeah. where most um, herbal medicines you're gonna have to take them for many weeks before you start feeling mm -hmm. uh, any situation change there so that's what I like about it too is you can just use it in those immediate situations where you either feel like just very depressed you have a hard time getting out of bed you know, and you just feel bad and you want to feel better now. Yeah, yeah. You know, there are a lot of great herbs that really help with depression, but there, again, you're going to have to take them over a longer period of time for them to have their full effect. Mm. Or the love elixir is a good, quick, quick one. Mm -hmm. And so when we're talking about depression, maybe we should talk a little bit about the spring because also mm. sometimes people get a bit of a spring depression. Mm. There are people that have that. They feel very heavy in the body. And that's because the springtime is the highest for the water and the earth element in the body. So when water and earth element get together, it's like mud, right? It's mm -hmm. really heavy. And for those who have a lot of water and earth element in their body, and then when the dominant season is also water and earth element, that's like double mud. Oh. It's like sticking together and pulling and dragging you down. So this is going to help with that as well, because like I said, it lightens up and it moves so it gets that heaviness away from the body, mm. and that cold heaviness away from the body. Yeah, so if that resonates with you, you know that you're um, in the springtime really suffer from depression because everyone always thinks of winter as the depression time and the hard mm. time, but we do see people that are really struggling in the spring mm. time as well. Yeah. yeah. And also about that, we were talking about the wedding gift, for example. Uh, which is like a really nice use for this product also. Uh, so you can put it like um, like sparkling wine and this bottle like together so it makes like a perfect. Uh, exactly. Gift. Yeah. So in the summer people are ordering it yeah for the weddings, mm, yeah. the wedding gifts a lot and I'm bringing it to weddings too yeah. to, for people to try. And you know and just parties in the summer too especially for those who want to do like a non-alcoholic cocktail like there is some alcohol in it because it's drops, but you know, you're just putting drops of alcohol into a drink, not mm. like a whole shot, for example. Yeah. So you could do technically like a non-alcoholic cocktail if you want to do some fun kind of summer drink without a lot of alcohol. Yeah. 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 And it's tasty as well. Yeah. <laughs> so is there any like um, situations that you shouldn't use this product or some? Yeah, that's a good question. So, for example, if you're pregnant, um, it's going to be too strong for the baby. Mm. And um, if you are breastfeeding, there are some thoughts that it could go to, to, to the breast milk to the baby as well. That's mm. controversial thoughts, but I would be cautious then during that time. Yeah. Um, if you're on blood thinners, it could be an issue as well. Yeah. So if you're taking blood thinning medication. But other than that, there should not be any issues there. You can take freely, and I have safe doses written on the bottle there, so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah more information is found in your website, prasad.fi. Yes, yes. So I have a few different tincture products there. This one is my personal favorite, of yeah. course. <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> and I find it's quite... Um, attractive like when you take it it sort of attracts other people to you as well so it's a good way to to make friends and find lovers when you take it people are more attracted to you and want to be around your good vibes <laughs> yeah good vibe vibe yeah. drops exactly good yeah. vibe drops that would be another way uh, to explain them yeah. there is one more use um that we could uh, mention is that for those who do get really heavy menstrual cramps the menstruation oh, yeah. is hard yeah because I do have a uh, mugwort in there, which is Puyo in Finnish. And that really helps with the blood flow as well as the Damiana flower. So that 
uh, mugwort and damiana flower really help with the menstruation to reduce the pain and the discomfort. Because usually when there's pain, it's because there's stuck energy there. We want to get it moving. Mm -hmm. And also for PMS, like if it's pre-menstruation, you're getting mentally feeling bad. It can be very effective for that as well. So I have lots of clients who order it for their menstru menstruation or moon time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if you're thinking, oh, mugwort, buyo, isn't that like a big allergen? So that's mm -hmm. some people that they're allergic. Um, it's, I'm picking it before it flowers, so there's no allergen there. And it's usually ragweed that's the allergen in Finland, but mugwort, buyo, gets blamed for it. Uh -huh. So I really love mugwort, and I'm sad when people are always blaming mugwort for, for all the allergies, because it's actually the ragweed, which... I don't remember in the moment now what it was in Finnish, but yeah, I don't know. I yeah, think, yeah, it's a. I think it's in this family of tuoksu or something like that. These plants that mm. have a strong smell. Okay, that's why I think yeah. the Finnish name starts with a T. So that's usually more the allergen. So don't be scared of the mugwort because mugwort is an amazing plant. It grows all over Finland. It likes to uh, grow along the pathways where you're walking. So it's literally mm. like, hi, don't forget about me. I'm I'm here for your health. You know, I can yeah. really help you with your menstruation. Um, a lot of people say if they take it before bed, it actually helps them with their dream recall also. Really? Helps to remember the dreams, yeah. Because uh, mugwort is effective for dream recall. So some okay. people, uh, for example, will even burn it as an incense in their room before going to sleep to help with the dream recall. Okay. But this is a much easier way. You can just take some drops before bed and experiment, you know, do some journaling with that and experiment to see how the love elixir uh, works with your dreams. Yeah, good to know that. Yes, and mm, yeah. Should we have a one Yeah, more you need drink? to drink more. You <laughs> yeah. very little I'm drinking over here, so I moved my class over there. There, so I don't like knock it over. Yeah, <laughs> I'm holding on to mine steady. So when I'm talking with my hands, like, yeah. don't knock it over. Yeah, but um, I think that there's a special promotion that we're doing. Yeah, for so, the little elixir. Yeah. yeah. So now uh, from this day on, uh, I have this one ten percent uh, discount code for this uh, when you order it from uh, Justin's uh, web shop prasad.fi so I put the link to my stories and also to my profile link tree so you can find it there so it's minus 10% from the web shop uh, from Justin's web shop so you can try and it's for the, like the uh, uh, one time order that, that discount so you can try it uh, if you like it yeah yeah so Thank you for joining us today and I hope that you want to try my love elixir and that you will become a fan of it also. Yeah, so yeah. I'm building my little love elixir cult here <laughs> in Finland. Yeah, yeah. I, I think love is something that we cannot have like too much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely um, a bit lacking here in the cold north, so why not add some more to your life? Yeah. People have been putting it also in the cacao drinks during oh. cacao ceremonies. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. that's very popular here now. So that might be something that rings a bell for you. Mm. You mm. want to put it in your... I mean, the sky's the limit. You can put it in foods and drinks. I've even put it in like salad dressings. Because <laughs> <laughs> it tastes really good. So yeah. you can put it in, in many kinds of things. Yeah. Yeah. Morning coffee or something. <laughs> yeah, a rose. If you like rosy flavor in the coffee. Yeah. But yeah, and teas I've experimented with more, and those can be really nice. Yeah, maybe tea because it, it also have some other flavor. Yeah, the, yeah. yeah. Especially have a, a tea that already has a rose base in it. Mm. Or maybe something like a cranberry vanilla tea. Yeah. Would go nice also as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, unless you don't have any other things in mind that you would like to share maybe we um, keep the day moving on and you you may have some customers here yeah, we are in yeah. justin's like in this treatment yeah. room here yeah. in yoga porvo premises so yes yes and uh, i'm here on wednesdays and i had a little break between clients for our instagram live today but yeah, yeah. please come to see me here if you want to 
uh, learn more about Ayurveda and have a consultation, or if you want to get some really nice body work done. And often when my clients come to the bed, I give them some love elixir before we start the body work. Yeah, <laughs> I have uh, uh, been uh, in your treatments and I have felt like uh, so relaxed. It, it was the marma point. Yeah, treatment. so marma is, the, or the acupressure is a more common name for it. Mm. And yeah, I'm pressing those and also it's like a lot of oil, like warm body massage with oil, super deep relaxing. Yeah. And I like to use the dry cups, the quiva cupos for the shoulders and it really helps with the breathing and getting the prana or the chi flowing, whichever you like to call the breath energy in the body. Yeah. Yeah. Good. So thank you for being with us today. And have a nice Valentine's Day. And if you watch the replay, so have a nice day. See you again soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.